Hey guys, this is Boxman coming at you from Dark Obsidian 1 with uh, another war recap. And uh, as you can see, we won the war by quite a large margin. Um, we're going to first start with number the attack on number 15, which was by R16. And uh, I just wanted to bring it to you guys because it's a dragon attack at Tunnel 8, and you know how hard those are. We'll go ahead and time to it here because dragons can be a little bit slow. So he's going to come in with the loons. They're actually going to lower the CC and. Yeah, it helps them with CC, but they go down before they get the air defense. A little bit unfortunate there. But hey, he's going to three-star the base just fine. So it's going to be dragons with one rage against two air defenses that are level six, and he is literally going to wreck this base. So, you know, it creates this funnel, brings the dragons in, gets them into both air defenses, and then game over at that point. Uh, the Archer Towers and the Wizard Towers can be a big deal, but if you look, his, his uh, defenses are not maxed for Talon 8. They're pretty new. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're maxed for Talon 7, but they're pretty new for Talon 8. And uh, because of that, it's going to give him the edge, and he's going to be just fine. Good job, Jaden. Keep it up, man. You're doing a good job. Go ahead and times 4 here, as there's not much left on the raid. He's going to send his king over here to help clean out some of these builder huts. And that is going to be a wrap. Alright, so the next one is going to be our number 9. I'm sorry, their number 9. And it's going to be a Town on 9 versus a Town on 9. And this is going to be a Govajo. And uh, I wanted to bring this because if you look, he does not have max heroes or anywhere near level 10 10 heroes. His queen is actually only level 5 and he is going to 3 star this base with Gavajo with no problem. I wanted to bring this out because not everybody has max out or high level heroes. And this way so you guys with the lower heroes can see that you can still 3 star. You just have to uh, use your kill squad more efficiently. AKA in this case max level belts for Tower 9. And uh, he is going to have no problem. He's going to send his Valks in and they're going to tank. It's going to be kind of like a max attack. Except instead of, uh, he's going to send this hogs into basically two finger drop though, rather than a scattered goho. And uh, they're actually going to all group up at that Tesla, but then he sends some more in at the uh, Archer Tower down here, so they're going to split in the groups. He actually only has one hog on that Expo over there, but with the Expo being distracted by the, uh, the Valks, it got quite a bit of work in before it started targeting. And then they're going to take it out, they're going to take out that Wizard Tower. And he still has another heal up. He's going to use those heroes down at the bottom, and that's just to clean up the base. He still has a uh, golem up with, uh, still has a pretty good amount of health. Not enough to get the docks in there. And uh, they're going to have no problem with that big group taking out the rest of his base. Now he does have that Tesla up there, but those heroes are going to be just fine at taking out that Tesla. And here the golem goes down in a second, but he still has uh, enough hogs to take out that expo. And then they're going to go after the Archer Tower and the Tesla. I'm not, I don't remember exactly how far they get on here. It looks like this is about where they die. No, never mind. They do take both of them out. But uh, I think this hog is going to die here against this uh, Tesla. If I remember correctly. Anyway, completely demolishes the base. And that is how it's done with low heroes, guys. So good job, Connick. Keep it up. We'll go ahead and uh, times four here. I didn't realize we were still in times one speed. <laughs> My bad, guys. So, uh, next attack is going to be another Town on 9 versus a Town on 9. And it's actually going to be my Town on 9 versus somebody else. And it's going to be me attacking their number 8. And I only wanted to bring this to you guys, not to brag about my attack. But really, I just wanted to show you guys your options here that you don't always have to go with Hogs or Valks. You can use other strategies too. So I, I'm just gonna I'm gonna come here with uh, Golem, create a funnel so that my bowlers will go inside. And yes, I brought bowlers in my clan castle. Uh, if you don't have a clan that has bowlers, you can also bring Valks. They do just as good. Um, bowlers are gonna clear a wider range than the Valks, but the Valks are gonna probably stay alive longer than the bowlers. I'm gonna come in, basically try to get two air defenses with my kill squad. And actually, funny enough, they don't end up getting that air defense over by the uh, the northwest over there. They're actually going to end up getting the one over here on the southeast, which is kind of funny. 
because you would think they'd move up and get that one since it's in range, but she's actually going to shoot the wall, the queen that is, and get that other air defense. Funny how it works out that way. But uh, it's going to be just fine. I readjusted my plan to uh, go after the top two air defenses. So I had already planned on having two air defenses go down. So uh, queen gets this air defense here, and that's the game over for the queen. But like I said, I got these back end hogs with uh, three hounds and uh, a couple hay spells of rage. And that is going to be plenty to get them through the space. I do come in directly at the air speaker, but with those haste and rage spells and how many hounds I had, it works out just fine. So uh, they get over to this last air defense, and if you notice, my hounds don't all pop. Uh, you want your hounds to pop, so maybe if I'd have brought only two hounds instead of three, I don't know. But uh, it ends up being plenty of time. We'll go ahead and time score it here as we come around the last couple defenses. Uh, plenty of loons alive, plenty of pups from the first one, and my two minions are going to be plenty enough to clean up this base, and that is going to be a wrap. And I uh, just wanted to bring this out because I don't see very many uh, air attacks, and uh, definitely not in my clan. And I don't know how your clans are, guys, but uh, you know, just remember, air is just as strong as ground if you, uh, if you plan properly. I wanted to bring you one more, and this is also a Tile 9 versus Tile 9. And this is going to be our Talon 9 attacking the number 7 with uh, straight up Goho. Now let's see what he has in his clan castle. It might not be a golem. He might have hawks in there or he might have valves and I'm totally sure. Um, he's going to come in with his golems, create his funnel with his wizards. You see he has a jump spell. He's going to try to get his heroes in. And then uh, he got about 20 hawks, possibly hawks in the clan castle. We're about to find out here in a second. Uh, breaks up in more walls with his wall breakers, puts his jump down, and then he's going to send his heroes in. And actually, I see he has bowlers in his main castle. Bowlers do pretty well, especially max bowlers, which is probably what these were. And uh, just going to come in, kill the queen, kill the CC, try to take out the middle of the base as much as he can. And then he is going to send the uh, hogs in around the back. And uh, he also took out an X bow, took out some of the splash damage, took out, uh, there's actually quite a bit of point defense up, but the, the splash damage is gone, so the heals are going to be just enough to get them through the space. That, uh, the X bow that's still up is actually on ground, but uh, it's not going to be enough to stop these hogs. And his queen stays up pretty well too, you see he still has his uh, queen ability, still has a heal spell in the back, he probably doesn't even need his heal spell, he's going to go ahead and lay it just to be on the safe side. Get those hogs back to full health in case they encounter a bomb later on in the raid. But uh, yeah, I just completely demolished this base. Pretty much survived the hill spell. Still has queen ability, and this base is gone. And that's going to be a wrap. We'll go ahead and times four it here. Good job, Narsh. Keep it up. Or is it G Narsh? You know what? I don't even know, to be honest. I've never asked. So that is going to conclude this war recap. Uh if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like. Uh, let us know what you think in the comments. Subscribe to our channel so you get notifications about our next videos. Check out our website, thedarkobsidian.com. We post gym contests and a bunch more stuff there. Check out our Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. We'd love to hear from you guys. Hit us up anytime. And I will see you guys in the next video.